So you talked about a situation on your show, and you couldn't get into specifics, um, but it has something to do with mm. the Drake and Kendrick beef. I've heard of those guys. Good rappers. I so hear. you said, all I know is there was a beef, and all I know is I was witness to where the beef would have ignited to proportions we would not have seen since Ja Rule and oh, yeah. 50, maybe even Ice Cube and W.A. Like, it went there. But that was destroyed from everyone's property. That was destroyed, that interview. That moment was destroyed. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but I was there, and I heard the shots fired. Mm. So you had an interview with Kendrick or Drake? <laughs> Look at that. So you know I'm so transparent, so real. But I, I haven't been sworn to secrecy except it was, it was orders given from one person's camp to our company that they should not air it. And only that keeps me from really going all in on who it was. But I will give you the entire story and let you guess it out. Okay. Because I didn't swear to see. Okay, okay. So let's hear it. Um, we're doing our interview. This is when I'm taping Sports Nation, Max Kellerman, myself, my co-host. Um, no Michelle Beto at this time. It's just a two-man show. And sometimes we tape, sometimes we go live. To the audience, it usually always looks live. But to us, we may have done it two hours earlier. That day, unfortunately, we were taping. So we're taping the interview. And we already know that there's something in the air that's, that's going on between these two rappers. We already know there's a little beef there. So we're like, it's our job, like you just asked me, I'm going to ask them, what's up with the beef? Is it real? And all of a sudden, you don't really expect those, those, uh, those hard fastballs to actually, the batter just says, okay, I'm about to take you. you like, that's supposed to be a strike. And he tried to hit it. And he started talking noise. I was like, what? Like, I'm thinking, like, I'm, I'm thinking I'm on Vlad. I'm thinking I'm double XL, the source. I'm like, we got beef. Like, it's going down. Like, this is official. And then, so we had a follow up. Me and my boy, we got chemistry. So we were like, we're going to stay with this. Hit him with the, with the double up, and he doubled down. So we were like, oh my God. So now it's like noon. And all we have to do is wait an hour for our show his live, and then the world sees it, and then y'all run with it where you want to. I love rap beef. As long as it stays peaceful, I love rap beef. Nothing better. Nothing better. Nothing better. Right. Go get it. Um, and then all of a sudden, we're walking off set, waiting our time just for the show there or whatever. Ring, ring. And then our bosses come up to us, and they're like, we have to, we have to extinguish that interview. We have to discard it. I was like, what? Why? They were like, well... Their camp called, and their camp said it, that shouldn't be aired. And I was like, well, shouldn't have said it, too. And I'm thinking in the mindset of, if this was live, would he have said it? And if he did, he couldn't take it back. But it wasn't. So then the, they were like, it has to go that way. One, that's not our lane. Like, we ain't trying to break rap news. And in their minds, in the corporate mind, they thinking of Tupac and Biggie. So they're like, if anything, this might save us and save some lives. I'm like, I don't think it's going to go there, but whatever. So the moment was lost, the tape gone, and never aired. Now, the guy in me that says if I ever get fired and I ever just have no job and I, I can't DJ anymore, anything, I'm going to find that tape <laughs> and I'm going to sell it. <laughs> and I'm going to sell it to you. Okay. And then we're going to figure this out together. So you're saying it was either Drake or Kendrick. Oh, it was the individual. Oh, yeah. This was Drake or Kendrick went on mm -hmm. your show, went ballistic against the other person. Yeah, and they've both been on our show multiple times because I've seen some <laughs> stories where people try to put the timeline and, oh, was it then? And then I'm like, all I'm going to tell you is they've both been on our show multiple times. <laughs> multiple times. So you do the guesswork from there. Because the interesting thing about the Drake and Kendrick beef is they never really went at each other. There was like this Kendrick BT freestyle that mm -hmm. kind of like, well, there was this control verse. Control verse was the King of New York line, right? There's never a Drake meet no. Mill all out between these two. Well, one, I think the Drake, I read an interview that said that Drake was like, that his biggest diss to Kendrick was just like, what's album two gonna sound like? Like, I like the album one, good, or are you gonna back that up? And I don't think that's like a necessary focused diss, but it's certainly a little slight. Like, that's not the most congratulatory thing to say to somebody after a great first album. What you gonna do now? Um, but, you know, and, and it seems like Kendrick has, has shown that if you're ever ready, I'm ready too. But I would say that he, he, he jumped on Meek Mill. But then when Joe Button is at, at, at um, Drake, 
You ain't gonna jump on that for different reasons, but they're probably different not, rappers yeah, too. Probably not worth this time. Yeah, that's that's part of the reason I think people were saying. But I mean, I wasn't ready for what Drake came back with Meek Mill. He's too big. Yeah, he's more like in the R&B lane. Yep. Yeah, than like back to back drop. Yeah, he he. But see, he dropped two. Now the only thing that to me, because I just saw Meek Mill, we was chopping it up um, over dinner. I, I only thing that saves me from Meek Mill is this: he went twice, you went once. Now I don't. Now all these other ones that came later, post dated. Forget that. I'm talking about in that moment, he went twice. Now why did he go twice? Meek Mill could have responded another time and maybe have saved some grace. Yeah, one of those things. Yeah. We'll see what really happens over time. You know, Meek is really an right. artist I really fuck with also. Oh, yeah. I like his music. Love Meek Mill. Stop playing. You know, he's still doing his thing. 